Well, good day, everyone. The reading you're watching is for the sign of Capricorn. It covers the week of July the 22nd through the 29th of the year 2017. It's a general outlook. Now, if you are more focused on your love life, you can find that reading for the same week at my Vimeo link, and that is down below. Uh, you can go over there and find a lot of readings. Some of you may be focused on your money this week in a general way. This is for my friends at Capricorn. Now I've got a variety of decks out here. And we're just going to kind of wing it and see where we go. We'll start with a freestyle past, present, and future for Capricorn. July the 22nd through the 29th. It's the general focus. Let's hope we can get to something general. Although my spirit guide, Michael, for those who have are just joining us for the first time, he is my guide. I am his channel. Uh, let's see. Let's see what messages he has for you for this week. I think we're just about there. We're going to go from here to here. King of Pentacles, like I thought, some of you are very focused on your money. I've got Strength card. The Ace of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. You're following a dream. The Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Seven of Swords. Justice. The Chariot. And the Hangman. Five of Cups. Is a focus energy for you. Okay. Gonna do it like that. So. I'll grab my Sibylas for clarifiers. Um, I'm not quite sure if we're going to talk about love here or talk about career. But, I, you know, I would have to say with the characters, the pentacles that are here, these are people that are focused on their security. Uh, love does not dissuade them. They kind of find their direction, and their direction is usually very earthly. You could be talking about uh, an actual earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, just like yourself. But it feels like this is a situation you're taking command over. Uh, maybe there has been a period around business where things were slow, things were not working out the way you had hoped. Uh, you've been focusing on that disappointment, where work, where business is concerned. And it's been a period of growth, a period of inner wisdom, maybe in a bit of um, enlightenment around your own weaknesses. But the self-examination of those weaknesses had, has brought you around to a greater sense of inner strength. Uh, for some of you, it is that sense of business failure that's kept you in a place of disappointment. To me, the strength card is all about self-love, letting go, letting go of the things that are non-productive and becoming stronger because you've released that thing, that event, that emotion. So, <clears throat> pardon me, I think my Capricorns are uh, coming through a period of maybe disappointment maybe disappointment in oneself uh, with the king sitting here. But there's 
<clears throat> a new flow happening. Pardon me. <clears throat> There's a new flow happening here with the Ace of Cups. You know, that Ace of Cups talks about a great sense of satisfaction when it comes to business. So we're going to apply this new beginning as business application because the Knight of Pentacles is also here, directly connected. You know, he's uh, the guy that brings the action. He produces the product that carries you over to the success. So it's success that brings a sense of happiness and well-being. You're a stronger person because of what you've endured, the failures, the obstacles that you've faced, that you've gone around. The Eight of Cups says that you have left all of that behind. That situation is now behind you. This is present day. This is saying you're leaving all of that crap here behind. And you've, a lot of you have cut people out of your life. You have removed negative energies around you. Maybe the, the people that stole from you or deceived you in the past. Um, the negativity, the disruptive energy that someone may have brought to your life. There's a lot of walking away. I don't see it as retreating. <clears throat> Capricorn doesn't retreat. Capricorn faces it and then clearly walks away. Facing the disappointment, facing the truth, and getting on with it, getting over the obstacle, getting over the hard road that has led you to the current day. So I think there's a hard road from the past. Energy that you've put into the situation in the past is what's going to come through in the future. Here in the present day, I think a lot of you are processing. You're processing your thinking, processing your direction, maybe uh, correcting your course and deciding on a different way, a different path, choosing a different direction around something where there had been a previous failure. Time is now saying justice is here. It's going to play a big part, a sense of correction, a sense that right will reign over wrong and the right thing will occur here for you. The chariot, that says clearly, pick a path, choose a direction, I'm going to take you there. I am the, the vehicle that carries you to your destiny. But what is your destiny? Well, we get clarity on that as we go, as we go through the next period of time. Now, I'm not going to say this is a week. I'm going to say this can probably be any time through the seventh month, which is right now, July. So you're making choices, you're making decisions, you're choosing direction in whatever this was that was previously veiled in disappointment. Now the clear road is there. The deception is gone. The deceptive thinking is gone. The feelings of rejection and failure, they're melting away because now you have a clearer picture of what's coming. It's more balanced. There's a sense of harmony. It feels like the correction is being made and it's coming up in the future, maybe by uh, November, between July and November, even December. Some of you are going to start experiencing 
that new flow of energy that is guiding you towards success. The hangman, he tells me you've sacrificed, you've made choices in your life where you've been in a holding pattern, you've been waiting to step out and really show yourself for who you are. Strong and clear this time though. No <clears throat> clouded judgment, no naysayers, no doubters, even within yourself. I think you're working on this project yourself. To me, this is you working alone to build your own character and to build something superior here. Whatever you've been waiting to do though, the hangman says you're going to be able to free yourself up from any more delays and move forward with this. But maybe for just a little while, you may need more development. You may need to create a little more balanced energy around this. You may have to invest a little more of yourself, your time, your money even, before you can really take this product off the shelf for the public to view. But the result is really positive when you do get the opportunity to do that. You're moving into a more successful time. But the success that comes with this is all very new to you. It's all <clears throat> fresh. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. I've got forcita, lies, deceptions. What this was, fear. Whatever this was, what, if it was someone putting negative thoughts into your head or you putting negative thoughts into your own head because you hadn't had the proper amount of success in the past, we're all being told that those are non-productive lies. At this time, you're feeding yourself negative information that does not need to be there. It's time to spread your wings and start venturing out. This doesn't have to be a big coming out for this thing. It is as big as you want it to be. But the coming out is timely and it's going to be there when you're ready and you will know it. Just like the Virgin knows when she's ready sometimes. This is a sense of newness. It's the launch. So to me, this is something brand new, just like we had assumed. It's new. It comes after a period of faith building and self building and courage building. It comes after a period of failure. But the new beginning says there's satisfaction with this new launch, with this new beginning, with this project that you may just be getting ready to take off with. You're almost, almost ready to fly with this. See if I have any more clarifiers for you and then I'll give you a little bit of Soul's Journey by James Von Prague. The Dottore. Some of you are relaunching a business that was sick. This may be the failure. This may be the failure. The past failure. But you have to know you were doing something that came from your heart. It, you put so much of yourself into it that for some of you, it's completely an emotionally driven project. It was about healing a failure. 
It was about taking an old idea that didn't work, oh, four years ago, three, four years ago, and making it work now. It is the rebirth. It's the new journey that some of you are taking. Prigione. I don't see that as being prison. What I do see is that some of you have been restricted. <clears throat> Maybe you haven't been able to follow your own true path. This is being released. It's about the freedom to show yourself, to show your project, to show your product, whatever it is. The new launch is coming about ready to be released. It's been held on to for a very long time. This could be a project that some of you have thought about for as long as nine years. It's time. It's time to consider the release a little more patience for some of you. Maybe a little more polishing a little more investment, and this thing is going to be ready to launch for some of you. Now, if you want to look closer at the situation, get a hold of me. We can get the invoicing going to get you a reading of your own. Uh, that information for contact is here. Go ahead. Uh, if you're watching right now, the sales for this summer are getting ready to wrap up. So go on over, take a, take a look at those, and we'll get you arranged for a reading of your own, based on your own birth sign information, your own questions, your own concerns, and I will channel messages through Michael just for you. Ooh, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I think that is a fantastic message to end this reading on. Because a lot of times fear is about denial. Denial of whatever it is that controls the fear. You know, the hangman... He doesn't like being in this frozen position, yet he endures it just long enough to make the right sacrifices before he moves forward. Something for Capricorn is getting ready to move forward. <clears throat> Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. These are the words and the feelings of James von Prague. And I think for you, it all makes sense. Face your fear. The fear of failure can no longer control you, Capricorn, because you're coming together as one with that fear. It's the obstacle. It's been in your way. And now you're releasing it. It's the part of yourself that is no longer relevant. And you're getting ready to move forward, some of you, in very important ways. Now, like I said, if you want a reading, you know how to contact me. Take advantage of the sales. Now I'm going to go over to Vimeo and I'm going to do a love reading. And what I want to do is carry over the energy of the Ace of Cups for you in this reading. I'm hoping it'll draw some relevance into your love life, Capricorn. So, that's all I've got for the week of July, the 22nd through the 29th. I'll get it. I've only got 11 more readings left to do. And until the next time, Capricorn. Um, it's only a week. Be well. Take care and peace.